everyone, we're going to use the definitions of hyperbolic cosine of x and hyperbolic sine of x to show that we can say cos for this, cos uh, squared of x minus sin squared of x equals 1. So here's our definitions, and I'll write that out. So I'm going to substitute our definitions for this. So for hyperbolic cosine, that's e to the x power plus e to the negative x power divided by 2 squared minus e to the x power minus e to the negative x power divided by 2 squared for um, your hyperbolic sine squared. So they're the same except um, hyperbolic sine has a negative here. Now I have this square um, for the 2, so 2 squared is 4. I can bring this out. And now I'm going to square this part. When you do that, you're going to get e uh, to the 2x power minus 2e to the x times e to the negative x plus e to the negative 2x power. All right. And then for this piece, we're going to get minus and do the same thing. Oh, this one's going to be a plus, sorry. So this is going to be e to the 2x, and this one's going to be minus uh, 2e to the x, e to the negative x power plus e to the negative 2x power. All right. Now this right here, when you have e, this one right here, you're going to have e to the um, x minus x, which equals e to the 0, and that equals 1. So this is just going to equal 1. So we get 1 fourth, and this is going to be 1, and this is going to be 1. So we get e to the 2x plus e to the negative 2x power uh, plus your 2 minus, I'm going to go ahead and distribute this negative. So we get minus, I'm going to take away the parentheses here, minus e to the 2x power, and I'll do this one, minus e to the negative 2x power. Two negatives make a positive, so this is going to be plus 2. Now simplifying this, we get, um, let's see, e to the 2x, these cancel out and um, these two cancel out. We get 2 plus 2 is 4. So we're going to get 1 fourth uh, times 4 and that equals 1. And that's your final answer. That's one way to do it. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.